Hey guys! So I'm doing my video tonight while Meredith is here. She's ignoring me. First time I've ever had a sister in my video. Hi. <laughs> and Teresa's is on the floor. Hey. And Brandon. I'm and her husband, but I'm last. Yeah, my husband, but I'm last. <laughs> Uh, Brandon wanted to say something about rich people and their banks today, but before we do that, let me just show you. Um, Meredith has got her nephew in a crap ton of trouble as he is lying on the couch. He's not supposed to be on the furniture. Oh, I ever so much love being on the couch. But Meredith invited him up here. Hi, Nathan. And he loves it. Okay, so Brandon wanted to say something about the banks in West Palm Beach. Sam, you said in regards to banks, you were like, why can't we just have one bank? Well, the reason why is, why can't we just have one Coles? Why can't we have one Belks? Why can't we have one this Belk. and one that? Yeah, I said Belks, so I'm ratchet like that. Oh, gosh. But it gives people options. Some banks offer different things. Some credit unions offer different things. Some can handle multi Just depends on what you're looking for and where you want to put your money. So, that's all I wanted to say about that. Quote from Forrest Gump. So, that's your answer to your question. Why are there so many banks? Plus, I think ba different banks have different amounts of money that they can have. Right? Isn't that true? Like, you can only have a certain amount in your account at one bank. Is that true? No. I don't know what I'm talking about. No. I don't work at a bank. <laughs> I thought I thought that you're insured up to a certain amount. Yeah, you're so you can have as much as if you I want have to like two million dollars and the bank only insures a million, then I'm not putting two million dollars in that bank. I will put a million in one bank and then a million in another bank. You can maximize your coverage of insurance underneath the NCUA. You can title your accounts in different ways to maximize your coverage. So therefore, the limit. The cap is 250000 but it can be more than that depending on the title of the account. So, like, I can have an account by myself insured up to 250000 Aaron could have an account by herself insured up to 250000 We can have an account together that's insured up to 250000 So, there you go. That's 750000 smack us. I don't have to worry about that because I don't have $750,000 anyways, and neither do you guys. So I think we're all safe there. I think the bank is uh, safely protecting oh, no, my little bit of money. Oh, yeah, that union. is true. Whatever, the credit union. Brandon gets upset when I say that. He works at a credit union, not a bank. But that's true. Sam Sam is very loaded, so she might have $750,000. And I don't know why it's a credit union and not a bank, tree, so I can't answer that question. But that's a valid question. Back to Brandon. A credit union is a non-financial or a non... What is it called? You don't even know when you work there. A non-profit financial cooperative that is to service its membership. Banks are out to service their shareholders. So that's why they have higher fees and all that jazz because they're wanting to get more money to their their shareholders. Whereas at the credit union, you are a shareholder when you open an account. With $25 in savings, that's five shares. So you get five shares for $5 a piece. So that gives you $25. So you become a shareholder of the credit union, and therefore you own part of the credit union when you do such a thing. So therefore, we're there to service our members. So that's pretty much it, you know. We're not, that's why fees are not as high as they would be at a bank. And we're not out to, we're not money hungry. We're not sitting there wanting to charge you up to Wazoo. We're actually trying to help you. Not like banks who want to charge you up to Wazoo. Like what, Brandon? Better like, not say it, though. Like what? Like what bank? Like, like. charge you up to Wazoo? Better not bash another bank. Banks. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your answer. Credit unions are better than banks because they don't charge you a lot of money. And you remember here, uh, y'all just need to see this again. I ever so much love being on the couch, guys. I love you so much. He's I'm your favorite nephew. One leg up in the Jude? air, and he's laying in my lap. <laughs> and Jude is attacking Latrice on the floor. There he goes, attacking her. <laughs> I do I do not like you being so right here. Sam you missed out you should have stayed the night because we're watching TV <laughs> and playing with the animals and we're learning about banks and Brandon popped some popcorn 
But anyways. We're not having a bank learning seminar. <laughs> we are. We just learned about yeah, banks because you, you asked the question yes, yesterday and wanted Brandon to answer. So anyways, I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.